whatever the fundamental laws that we have which is related to boolean algebra will be considered as this boolean postulates so we are going to get i or 1 as a resultant if both are 1 that is what and relation here in the boolean theorem can be proved by the substituting all the possible values of the variable that are of 0 and 1. If x is equal to 0, then what will be x complement? That will be equal to 1. Hello everybody, welcome back to the session 2 on chapter 2 that is Boolean Algebra. I am Rohini T.S. Lecturer, Department of Computer Science, Vidyashram T. University College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. In the previous session of this chapter, we had discussed regarding what do you mean by Boolean Algebra, what is another name, who invented this, what is the need of having this, everything that I have discussed in the introduction part and also we have learned regarding the logical operator. So, it will going to be deal with the and or as well as the not operators and also we have learned regarding the how to evaluate the boolean expression with the help of this truth table and also we have discussed regarding this logic gate in the same way it will be having this and gate or gate and the not gate and also we have learned regarding its working procedure so in our today's session let me continue with the session that is related to boolean postulates then if i wanted to use the boolean algebra then what are the rules and regulation i am supposed to follow that is what boolean postulates and also we are going to learn regarding this principles of duality theorem and also we are going to have some of the important boolean theorems so that consists of properties of zeros and ones and indempotence law and we are going to learn about the complementary law and we are going to learn about this involution law. So, all these laws if you have learned this will be very very important and that will going to be helpful in order to get complete marks from this chapter. All the laws are important either for the definition either for the proof. So, all these laws are important. Let me discuss one by one. Let me move regarding this boolean postulates. So, as I told, so whatever the fundamental laws that we have which is related to boolean algebra will be considered as this boolean postulates. So, that the fundamental laws of boolean algebras are called as the postulates of boolean algebra. So, we have to follow some of the laws, rules and regulation we have to follow in a boolean algebra that will be considered as boolean postulates and these postulates for boolean algebra originate from the three basic logic functions that includes and or as well as the not whatever we have in a boolean algebra everything is based on this and or and the not that is boolean multiplication boolean addition and boolean complementation so with this only we are going to play regarding this boolean algebra and also we'll see the first postulate regarding this boolean postulate what is that properties of 0 and 1 what do you mean by properties of 0 and 1 so, you already I told you regarding this boolean algebra anyway, it will going to deal with only zeros and ones, isn't it? If my value is not zero, then obviously it must be equal to one. So, if my value is not one, then it must be equal to zero. That is what properties of zero and one here. So, if x is not equal to zero, so if x value is not equal to zero, then it must be one. So, if the x value is not equal to one, then it must be zero. That is what properties of 0 and 1 here that you can see here if x is not equal to 0 then the x must be 1. So, if the x is not equal to 1 then the x must be 0. Then we will see the second type that is or relation that is logical addition. So, already we have learned this addition with respect to boolean truth table. So, how we are going to deal that 0 plus 0, 0 and 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 1 that is or relation or or operation or logical addition. What about this and relation then that is related to logical multiplication. So, we are going to get i or 1 as a result if both are 1 that is what and relation here. So, 0 into 0, 0. So, 1 into 0, 0. 0 into 0, 1 into 1 will be 1. This is the only uh, value that we are going to get true. And then we have a complement rules. So, if the input is uh, 0, then the output will be 1. If the input is 1, the output will be 0. So, what do you mean by 0 complement? That is 1. What is the uh, 1 complement? That is 0. This is what complementation rule. Okay. This is regarding Boolean postulates. So, next we will see about this principle of duality theorem. Very, very important. Either can guess for 2 marks or 3 marks. Very, very 
important question and also you can expect one more question from this also write the dual of 1 plus x is equal to y so in that case uh, you have to understand how to write the boolean uh, duality theorem we'll see now so when it comes to the principle of duality theorem changing each or sign that is plus to an and sign so whatever the sign we have as a plus that needs to be converted into uh, multiplication or and sign and second point changing each and sign to or sign so plus will be converted to product and product will be converted to plus or addition and we are going to replace each 0 by 1 and 1 will be replaced by 0 so this is uh, the derived relation using this duality principle will be considered as dual of original expression because whatever the original expression we have that will going to be changed to zeros and ones and uh, that will going to be converted to or by and 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 by or so here you can see some of the examples that i have listed out with respect to this dual theorem that is principle of reality how we are going to do that x plus 0 is equal to x that is x plus 0 is equal to z what i told all the zeros will be converted to 1 and all the plus symbol will be converted to product then this variables will be remain as it is so that how the output will be x dot 1 is equal to x that is what we are going to get here so you can take the screenshot this is somehow the example which is related to this principle of duality so and these kind of questions can be asked for one mark question write the dual of x plus 0 is equal to x so in that uh, way also you can expect the question from this slide we'll see the next topic that is related to boolean theorems so now we got to know what is the basic uh, laws that we are supposed to follow then we have some of the boolean theorems in order to improve the efficiency of a boolean algebra so that in the boolean theorem can be proved by the substituting all the possible values of the variable that are of 0 and 1 so we are going to uh, learn all these boolean theorem everything will going to be deal with this zeros and ones here so this technique of proving a theorem is called proof by perfect induction what do you mean by proof by induction here so if you are proving or if you are uh, finding a solution of any theorem with zeros and ones so that kind of uh, technique which will going to be provide or proving the theorem with the help of this uh, zeros and ones will be considered as what proof by perfect induction that is considered as proof by perfect induction so that so here you can see the list of theorems that we are going to uh, get the proof with the help of zeros and ones we have a properties of zeros and ones we have an impotence law complementary law involution law commutative law and also we have associative law distributive law and we have a absorption law along with that we have some more uh, rules or we are going to have some more uh, theorems or a loss here we'll see the first type that is related to theorem one which is of the properties of zero and one already we know the properties of zero if my x is not equal to zero then it must be one if my x is not equal to one it must be zero so here you can see that everything as i told we are going to deal with only or and as well as the not gate so 0 plus x is equal to 0 so if i add any variable with 0 the output will be the variable value okay so for example i can consider you have to understand one thing if i'm talking regarding variable that only always i meant 0 or 1 that is what here 0 plus x is equal to x so this x could be either 0 and 1 it can be either 0 or 1 so let me consider the proof by taking x is equal to 0 so what is the lhs that we have here 0 plus x so 0 plus in the place of x i am going to take 0 any number with uh, 0 will be added by 0 here that is 0 plus 0 will be 0 so it is equal to rhs so what it equal then i have taken the x value as 0 then lhs become rhs that is 0 plus x is equal to x what if i take a x value as 1 we'll see now so 0 plus x in the place of 0 i'm just going to replace it by 1 now so 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 will be 1 so my lhs was 1 and the rhs is also 1 this is what we have proved that x 0 plus x is equal to x so here you can see the truth table we have only two variables 0 and x so one time uh, it will be 0 x is a variable so that the value will going to be changed one time it will be 0 another time it will be 1 0 plus 0 0 and 0 plus 1 will be 1 
In the same way, we are going to prove uh, another one that is 1 plus x is equal to 1. If I add any number with uh, 1, then I am going to get 1. We will see about uh, 1 plus x is equal to 1. So, I am going to give 0 as the first value for x and in my second proof, I am going to take x value as y. So, what is this uh, we have here? I am taking x is equal to 0 and what do we have in a LHS? 1 plus x. So, 1 plus x value is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. Then we are going to get the RHS that is it is equal to 1. So, any value which is added with uh, 1 then we are going to get 1. So, if I take a x value as 1 then then 1 plus x in the place of x I need to take 1. 1 plus 1 will be 1 that is equal to RHS. So, here you can see one of the true table for that. We will see the next one that is 0 into x is equal to 0. As we all know that if I multiply anything with 0, it will be 0. That is what proving here x is equal to 0. So, then 0 into x, this one we are taking. I am going to replace this x with 0. 0 into 0 will be 0 that is equal to RHS here. In the same way, x is equal to 1. So, 0 into x, 0 into 1. x is 1 here, 0 into 1 will be 0. The RHS will be 0. So, here you can see the true table of that one 0 into 0, 0 into 1 is 0. We will see the next one that is any number which is multiplied with any of the, uh, 1 then we are going to get that variable. So, that is what we are doing here x is equal to 0 I am taking x as 0 here 1 dot x that is 1 into x. So, x is 0 1 into 0 will be 0. So, what was my x value that is 0. So, we proved that 1 into x or any variable is always equal to that variable. So, that x is equal to 1 now. So, 1 into x 1 into 1. So, my x is 1 and the output will be 1. So, that it is equal to like LHS is equal to RHS. So, here you can see the true table for this theorem. This is related to properties of zeros and 1. We will see the next theorem that is related to indempotence law. So, what do you mean by indempotence law here? So, this law states that when a variable is combined with itself using or or and operator, then the output is same variable. What you have to understand out of this? So, indempotence law that means that when a variable is combined, that means we are adding. So, we are uh, adding or we are uh, multiplying that with itself. That means x plus x, x into y. So, if you are doing with the help of this or or and operator, then the output will be or the resultant will be as the same variable. We will see that theorem here x plus x is equal to x. What I told in the uh, indempotence law, if any variable is combined with itself either by doing or or and operator, then we are going to get the same variable. So, here x plus x is equal to x. How it will going to be x plus x is equal to x? Let me consider x is equal to 0. So, x plus x, x is 0 and another one x is also 0. So, 0 plus 0 is what? 0. That is what we got the same variable because my x is 0 here. So, we got the RHS as 0. So, what if I am going to take this x as 1? So, x plus x that means 1 plus 1. It can't be 2. So, because we are dealing with Boolean algebra. So, that 1 plus 1 will be 1. This is equal to my RHS. This is how we are going to have this indempotence law. And this definition is also important. And this uh, proof of induction is also important. So, here we have a two variables 0 plus 0, 0, 1 plus 1 is 1. This is related to what indepotence law when we are uh, combining any variable with the help of this or operator. So, that is addition. So, now we will see how this variable will going to be uh, combined with itself with the help of this and operator. So, that is what uh, product here x dot x is equal to x. So, if I multiply 0 with 0, it will be 0. If I multiply 1 with 1, that will be 1. We will see now. So, I am going to take this x is equal to 0. So, x into x. So, 0 into 0 that will be 0. So, what if I am going to take the x value as 1, x into x, then it will be 1 into 1. 1 into 1 will be 1. That we have proved that LHS is equal to RHS. So, here you can see the uh, true table for this indempotence law. We will see the next law that is related to complementary law. So, now we will see how this complementary law will going to work. What it states then? So, this law states that when a variable is added with its complement, it is equal to 0. 
and a variable which is odd with its complement then it will be 1. So I hope you didn't get anything. So what do you mean by this complementary law? Consider I have a variable called x. What is the complement of x? That is x bar, right? So if I do the complementation of a same variable along with and operator or if I and it with x value with a complement of x at that time the resultant will be 0. In the same way I have x and I have x complement. So if I add with a complement of a x variable then the resultant will be 1. This is what we are trying to prove in the complementary law. We will see now x plus x bar is equal to 1 and x dot x bar is equal to 0. I am going to take x value as 0 now. So if x is equal to 0 then what will be x complement that will be equal to 1. So x plus x complement 0 plus 1 the resultant will be 1 that we have proved LHS is equal to RHS that means whatever the complement value that will combine with a normal variable so then it will going to produce 1 as a resultant. What if the x value is 1 here then x complement will going to be 0 here right. So 1 plus 0, 1 plus 0 will be 1 that we have proved uh, LHS is equal to RHS and here we have a true table for that. So 0 uh, plus 1. So when it is complemented 0 plus 1 will be 1 and 1 plus 0 will be 1. This is related to complementary law. So that is what uh, when we are going to add a variable with its complement. So now we will see when I am going to complement a variable or when I am going to combine a variable with its complement with a and then this will going to result in as a 0. So let me consider x value as 0 here x dot x bar. So x is 0 then the x bar must be 1. So 0 into 1. What is 0 into 1? Any number with 0 will be 0. So that this is equal to RHS. So now x is equal to 1. So if x is equal to 1 then x complement must be 0 right. So x dot x bar. So 1 into 0. 1 into 0 will be 0. That means what? Any val uh, variable which is combined with its complemented with and it then it will be resulted as 0. So here you can see the true table for that. So 0 into 1 0 and 1 into 0 will be 0. This is regarding what? Complementary law. We will see the next law that is related to involution law. So what this involution law states that, so it states that when a variable is inverted, inverted in the sense complemented twice. So if I complement it twice, then that is equal to the original variable, that is equal to the original variable. Let me show you one thing, you consider this one, okay. So I am just going to complement it, that means what I am just going to invert it. So if I invert it again, then it is same as my original value. So in the same way if I have a x, so if I complement it then it will going to give the different value. If I complement it again then it will be equal to my original value. So that is what involution law. So this law states that when a variable is inverted y then it will be equal to the original variable x double bar is equal to x. So that if x is equal to 0 then x bar will going to be 1. So now uh, take the complement again. So x bar will going to be 0 now. So it is equal to x as the original value. So if I uh, take this x as 1 then x complement will be what? So what will be the x complement here? That will become 0. Then if I take a complement again then x double bar then it will going to be 1 again. So x complement is 0 and if I complement it again then it will be 1. This is what we are going to work with this involution law. So this is what the true table for this involution law. I hope you all understood and all these laws are important for 1, 2 as well as for 3 marks question. It's all about today's session. I hope you all understood. Let me meet you in the next session. Until that, keep learning, keep on growing. Thank you.